welcomed you to another live stream from time to go. Um, one of my friends has a train set and on that train set he's making a, a big layout basically and he looking, was looking for some fencing. Now I have made some fencing for him with my 3D printer and I'd just like to show you how that's physically done. I had a sample of one of these which he gave me and what I did I started up a program called Fusion 360 and I'm going to show you that right now. Um, this program here is called Fusion 360. It's a CAD program. And I drew the uh, I drew the fences up by making the fence posts first. And then I added the slats going the fence panels going across like that. And once I've done this on uh, in the CAD and drawn the model out, I did this for a large fence and I also did it for a small fence. This is the small fence model. And once I made this, I exported it into an STL file. And then it, I went to my printer software, which is this here. And instead of just printing one, I copied it. And I've got about 13 here. And then I sliced it with a slicer and that what that does it it converts the file into a sliced um, model so the printer can recognize it and then when you've got that sliced model you then go to the printer which we have one running at the moment this is the printer that's running right now and we're printing these um we're printing these at the moment we're printing the the big ones the big ones which are these um and we've also printed these ones here these are the small ones now i think the quality is pretty good for um the use they're going to be used to and this is one one seventy sixth scale apparently and the these fences go around the around the rail tracks somehow each one of these plates takes about an hour to print and some of them didn't come out and this is a one that uh, has failed but i've decided to leave it like that because this can be um on your model railway and this could be where um a genuine it looks like somebody's smashed the fence in so i don't throw anything away it's worth keeping and here's another one here that was another failure because 3D printing is not perfect. Mistakes happen. Um, and what we're going to do is when this print finishes, we'll take it off and we'll um, uh, we'll take it off here and see what they look like. Um, this is the one that's been done and it looks it's perfect. So there it is there. Now these cost 3.2 pence to make. You can see that these fences and things they're charging something like five pound for 10. So that's 50 p each and some of them are up to uh, a pound each. And here's another one here. This one here, eh, they want eight pounds. So they're a pound each. So we're printing them on the printer and we're going to take that off the printer later on and um, see what they look like. And during the week, we've been uh, using a motorbike and we've been making a, a few uh, videos or a couple of videos the roads have been a bit quiet uh, this week i don't know why there's been no um no dodgy drivers trying to push me off the road or anything like that so i've had plenty of time to um do a bit of uh playing around with the android auto here's another video that we did uh, last week and it was uh, a ride in home and this was when we had the first sun of 2024. But since then, we've not had any sun at all. So it was a good day, but it didn't last very long. I've spent some time um, readjusting the camera on the uh, the helmet as well, because the camera wasn't central. So the videos coming from the bike will be a lot nicer going forward. I'm not too sure whether to keep this view here or the the wide uh, widescreen view 
if you've got any uh, thoughts on that let me know in the comments and um, which you prefer I like this one because it gives you more uh, infinite more of a picture see more of the bike but you get the black um, bars on the side which is not so good so we'll have to see how that goes on a couple of minutes six minutes it says we're going to take these off here and show you how we take these parts off the bill plate i've done about 60 of these things they're very very handy printers i'm going to use this printer to print some parts for my motorbike uh either this week or next week i need to put the cameras back on the bike i've got a front and rear v system camera system and um all the parts are out already i might have to laser cut a new uh lens for the front of my cover for it because i made a 3d printed cover to fit the b Sisto camera and uh, if you've got one of these uh keep an eye out uh, for the video because i'll show you how to protect the lens because what you don't want to do is be riding along getting that uh, lens dirty and then wiping it off with a cloth or something it'll get scratched so i've made a um a sort of enclosure for it where the camera's inside and it doesn't uh, get damaged at all it was on the nt the nc 750x for about uh four years and it was perfect so i'm going to put that on the nt very very shortly and i'll then have some footage of the rear of the motorbike and also the front of the motorbike while i'm riding along so our printer looks like it's finished this is what you get off the printer when it's physically printed these are all the fences and i've got 13 i think on there yeah there's 13 fences on there in one print that takes an hour and a half to print them so now we're trying to how we take them off there's two ways we can do it the first way is to flex the uh, the board like that as you can see they're coming off anyway flex it both ways and that makes them loose then you should be able to just peel them off like that there's two ways to take the print off one is by pulling them off and the other one is by putting a, a flashlight underneath there and slide down like that and once you've got them all off you can then use them i only have another 20 to go and there is the, the bill plate now it's empty I'm going to close the uh, the stream there. I'm going to go and set up another print for another 13 of these. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.